Man Avengers here, and it's time to return to an old series. It's time for Witch Switch. Today we'll be talking about the Cream Switch. The Cream Switch is a collab between Novel Keys and Kaiwa, aka Kale. So, is this just another linear switch? No. Typically, the housing of a switch is made from a nylon blend of plastic and features a palm stem. In the case of the cream switch, both the housing and the stem are made of palm. What is palm? Well, palm is polyoxymethylene, which is an engineering thermoplastic used in precision parts requiring high stiffness and low friction. Different formulas for palm exist and are known as uh, known by other names such as acetyl, delerin, and polyformaldehyde. So why is this special? Well, palm is typically referred to as a self-lubricating plastic due to its low coefficient of friction. So in theory, instead of having a smooth plastic rubber against a not as smooth plastic, we're pairing that smooth plastic with itself. Does this work? Well, yes and no. If you push the switch down slowly, you'll feel this odd friction, almost like if you're wearing leather pants and sat on a leather chair. If you type quickly or relatively normally, you won't really feel it at all. This leathery feeling is particularly bad if you're hitting the keycap at an angle though, even for normal presses. So how do you fix this? Well, the same way you should treat every other linear switch with lube. When lubed up with your preference of choice, this really doesn't become a problem anymore. But it's an interesting feel, that leatheriness, whether you're pressing slowly or off angle. So I decided to investigate because this is something I felt and I wanted to see with objective data, my confirmations of what's under my fingertips. So I made force curve graphs, two of them. Same switch, but you may notice the line for one of the graphs, it's much more intense than the other. Brief force curve crash course. The more swiggly the line, the more inconsistent the force as it increases, which means there is more friction. The graph with the more intense and swiggly line is a bit more friction. And as you can see, that was because I set the press speed at 0.5 millimeters on the left graph, whereas the right graph has a press rate of one millimeter per second. So it's interesting that we can see through my machine, the slower you press the switch, the more friction you'll feel with cream switches. Especially at 1.75 millimeters, you see the friction is so intense it actually impedes the force of the spring for a little bit, for a little while there. Both of the graphs have five different force curves laid right on top of each other, so it's not just a single press. So in more accurate force graphs, we can you know, really feel what our fingers feel, and let's examine the graph on the left, closer to the reality. According to Novel Keys, at two millimeters, we will actuate at 55 grams, which for these cream switches matches up very well. At the bottom off, uh, bottom out, which my distance is slightly off due to human error, it is still around 70 grams, so I'll give it to Kale. The measurements they provided are accurate. So physically, the switch is pretty much the same as most all standard MX switches. It has PCB mount locating pins on the bottom, although on some PCBs, I do find them a bit on the small side, so keep that as a heads up if you want to use them for like a uh, plateless build. Something I've noticed about the palm housing it's definitely a bit more brittle than the traditional nylon blend switches are made of, and I find it easier to snap palm top housings by accident, unlike with the normal nylon housings. So it's nothing to worry about in general, but if you're using thicker switch films, then that's where you may encounter some issues. So how about the sound of the switch? It's definitely a higher pitched sound that some may like and others may dislike. Of course, lubing will bring that pitch down a little bit, but it's still typically regarded as a higher pitched sounding switch, whether you lube it or not. For some typing samples, I have three. First, stock switches on my stainless steel switch tester with a GMK keycap. Next, my Southpaw full size with lubed cream switches in a brass half plate.
Finally, my Jane V2 with lubed creams in a brass plate. Of course, as you've heard, how you lube the switches and how you build them up in regards to the plate and case will have a impact on the sound like with all cases and all builds, but I hope this demonstrates at least some of the range that cream switches can exhibit in their sounds. Overall, do I like these switches? Yeah, I like them. They're commonly out of stock, but sometimes still in stock. Over on Novel Keys, uh, due to their popularity after Teha Types built a keyboard for popular streamer Tifu with cream switches. When they come back in stock, and if you're quick enough on the draw, use my promo code HueyHueyHuey for 5% off your order of creams when you order it. So, yay, thank you, Novel Keys, for giving us that promo code. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this revival of Witch Switch. Let me know what you all think. If there's anything in particular about Switches you'd like me to cover in the future, please let me know in the comments down below. What am I going to be covering the next episode? The new Blueberry Switches. So keep your eyes out for that. Thank you for watching and keep on keyboarding. Boop, 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 boop.